I am going to head over to 10 Cup and we're going to do a little jeeping. Check that lake out. Look how nice and smooth and what a beautiful day it is. Uh, this is a real nice campground. It's up on the hill above Taylor Lake. There's the, the rental place down there on the shore. This is a very well-known trail. Probably the only one that's a little more famous than that is uh, some of those down, down south like Black Bear. I think they have a few at this trading post. This is the Taylor Lake Trading Post. I think that's what they call it. I like to have, top things off before I leave, and this is real convenient. And it is one hopping place. So this is the easy road to Tin Cup. Okay, there's the dumping station. Well, it's not too far here. There was a sign just back there that said no camping area because you got cabins over here on the right hand side. And there's their mailboxes right there. Rainbow it's called. Heavy side road activity. It is hopping today. Check this out. Mostly a OHVs and not uh, not Jeeps. I think there's a place to eat there. Frenchies Cafe. Or Service Road, Mirror Lake, Tin Cup Pass. So let's go see the Tin Cup uh, Cemetery. It's only a quarter of a mile. So this is not a ghost town by any way, shape, or form. There's little cabins here. Uh, obviously summer cabins, because I think access would be darn near impossible except by snowmobile in the winter. So the cemetery is right here. Those guys get ahead of me so we don't have to eat their dust. Yep, there it is, right there. This is a pretty decent setup. Beautiful area. The Christian knoll over there, and they got the Jewish knoll over here. Gotta love this nice little stream. There's the Christian Knoll and uh, going right through this little valley here. So here's Boot Hill. Moved down here and retired and became Tin Cup resident. I guess. Very yeah, recent. Uh, this one could be an original resident. Looks like it's been there a couple of years. And here's one that's got a actual headstone. Boy, they have a beautiful view, don't they? Look at that. Mountains in the distance and the whole meadow all the way around. Well, that was Ten Cup Cemetery. Kind of interesting. So St. Elmo is 13 miles this way, so that's the way we're going to go. Trail, Garden Basin Trailhead. Wow. So we're coming up on Mirror Lake. Go the, the route along the water. Pretty cool. Feels like you're floating. Pretty deep. No problem. I've got the, the side buys to lead the way here. Who says a Jeep can't go floating away? The 
this is definitely a water obstacle, wouldn't you say? Wash the wheels off, huh? Dude, I guess they were just waiting for my buddy. I don't know. rough I wouldn't say it's particularly difficult right up this stream here it's the trails like this where I use my front and rear as a reminder exactly where those two bell housing differential pumpkins are I think this is the pass Oh, we gotta have the photo up. <laughs> yeah, there was a couple of uh, Suzuki's. Quite a drop off down there. Reach out and get grab you a snow snowball. Cause I don't think there's any more after this. At least not on this trail. This must be St. Elmo. Mercantile. People these days wouldn't know, even know what a mercantile is. All right, so this is Hancock, five miles. Looks like it's mining. It's not falling down there. CJ7. Those are some big ass bowlers. I think I can go right straight up. Split the difference. Put the right wheel on one. And I'm going to try that line. If it doesn't work, I'll try the his line. Here it comes. Side. 
Well, that was fun. Good one. That was fun. <laughs> yeah. That was a rental Jeep. Wow, those guys are going down in a rental Jeep? Whoa. Back in the late 1890s, the entire valley off to our left looked quite different. It was a beehive of mining activity, and as part of that, the South Park Railroad built the Sherwood Loop to climb up and over the pass ahead and to the right. There is the railroad up on the cliff there, going around the, and through that next pass over. to the Aspens. 10 mile, 12 miles to 10 cup and that's almost the motorhome. Let's just see what Quartz campground looks like. I just want to quickly run through here. Have you trees? <laughs> Boy, it's tight in here though. I need a shoehorn. Ten Cup is eight miles that way, and Taylor Reservoir, we're still 15 miles away. God, it seems like two days ago that we were driving through Ten Cup, doesn't it? Wow. Cute little house. It's the Ten Cup Town Hall. Four-way stop. There's the mother load, there's this general store, and there's Frenchie's, Frenchie's Cafe. People live down that lane, huh? Cows are loose. Must be open range. Trainer Park Sanitary Dump Station.
Just think of all the things we saw today. I hope you enjoyed it, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.